watching me. Don't watch me. So, I'm actually in my daughter's room. I know. I'm bombarding their space. Just for a second. Just for a second. I'm going to go work out after this. So, excuse my hair. It looks a mess. Twin. Those could be the same, Mom. What? Right? See? So, a baby wants to work out. So, anyways, guys. It's Monday, February 7, 538. The reason for this video is because I'm disturbed. Grossly disturbed. Um, number one, I've been all over the news, been all over on YouTube. It's the saddest, most disgustingest, the most inhumane, the most, I mean, I don't think there's any other word to put it, okay? So I'm pretty sure if you know what I'm talking about, oh, wait, first, disclaimer, number one is if you are easily triggered with, um, you know, Sensitive topics. I don't know how to word it. Like where gore. It's not mm, not gore, but more like Murder. um. It's disgusting. Yeah. So if you're sensitive to like babies being, you know, sexual murder, mm -hmm. all that stuff, you need to click out right now. And I, I'm okay with you kicking out because I'm very sensitive when it comes to children as well. So if you are sensitive to topics of that sort, please do so. And I'll give you some time to go. In the meantime, if you do enjoy this video, please like. And if you do consider subscribing, thank you. But, alright. So, I'm going to get right into it because um, I've been thinking about talking about it. But I had my husband give me some input, input on it and he said yes. So number one, I'm all for children. I am a children advocate. As you can tell, I have four children. And if I could have more, I would have more. But everything happens for a reason, right? All right. Nowadays, have you guys been looking around you? Like, I don't know, but I just feel this eerie feeling of perilous times. In the Bible, they speak about, that. in the Bible, it states, in the last days, it's going to be perilous times. Now, no one knows when Jesus is coming. He comes like a thief in the night, okay? But it just all around me is sickening, like truly sickening. Everyone is dying. Um, and you, you must be like, well, Mama, everyone dies. Yeah, you're right. But do you see the 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 gruesomeness of it all? All right, two day old baby, and her mother was murdered. Well, the mother was murdered. Um, you know, a, a wound in the head and the father lured the mother in and oh my god, to even see the mother's outburst, I couldn't even fathom what I'll do. I, I'm gonna be honest, what I'll do if the Lord forbid any of my children were to suffer such such <laughs> such a heinous crime. Even worse. I guess what happened was, mind you, I'm just stating what was the news and, you know, nothing that I say is to be taken as a, you know, a true concrete stone fact because I don't want to be okay? But, anyways, the two, I mean, a, is this is your baby and this is where, it, it, anyways, this is your baby and you're going to throw your baby in the river because God knows what your reasons are and I know there's no reason to throw your child in the river. I'd rather you just leave the mom alone, don't be involved, as bad as that even is. I'd rather you not come around, period. And this is where it brings me to where, you know, nowadays how I see too where there's women who must have forced a child. I'm not saying that's the case here, so let me, let's, let's, clear, let's clarify that. I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is sometimes we're just better off doing it on our own. I'm not going to force someone to be in someone's life, their child's life that they fully know is theirs. And God forbid something happens. Or, you know, it's, if I had to teach a man to be a father, then no. If you already, you already know, you have common sense. You know, so this is why I say with some young children, young adults, or women, period. I'm going to just say women, period. Okay? Do not force someone. I'm not, again, this is not the case that we don't know we don't know what the hell happened all right i'm just saying 
I do see a lot of women that, uh uh, you're gonna be taking care of my kid. And then they will really badger the guy, really. And, and you know, I get it because you're hurt and you do. I mean, you ain't make this baby by yourself, but it's better off just doing it on your own and just doing it the other way. Which is if you have to go to court for child support. Which people think child support is a negative thing because of what others women have, well, yeah, other women have abused it for. We're taking the money and not using it for their child. Well, no. See, child support is to support that child. Their home, their clothing, their food, whatever they may need. And that's not a broke girl's hustle. You get what I'm saying? No, it's not. It's where I didn't make this baby myself. Why do you get the whole half of doing you? You know? So that's what I mean. Like, this is what I said. You got to be very careful who you have your children with. You know, my heart does go out to that. The, the mother, um, the grandmother, and the young lady's mother. Um, the baby was on this earth for only two days. No matter how, how long, only two days. What kind of human are you to throw your child in the Mississippi River. Then, you didn't cooperate at first, but then you did. And it's like, that's, to be honest, that's your sperm you're looking at. That is your sperm and the other half of the mother. I'd rather you just not deal with the mom and the baby. Just don't even, if that was gonna be an action, which it was an action, but if you was even considering that, just leave the people alone. She'll she'll be hurt, the mother. But you know what? If you had those ill intentions, that's disgusting. And this is why you can't just lay down with anybody. And this is why you gotta be careful who you, you know, procreate with. Because some people are really that adamant about not having children or just, you know, don't wanna have, have a kid by you, but yet you wanna have unprotected intercourse. You get what I'm saying? You wrap it up then. Not everything lies on the woman where, oh, you you know, I hate this stereotype. The woman should have birth control. So does the men. So does the men. Not everything falls on the woman. You need to really evaluate, especially nowadays, whom you are with. You know, and watch their actions, their body language, how they speak, their mannerisms, and all that. If that person told you once, I don't want the baby, I want you to have an abortion, and that's it, honey, say no more, I'm gone. Bye. Because number one, this is your other half. If you have the audacity to tell me you don't want something that you know fully aware of what will happen when you decided to do what you do, if you know what I mean, then you know that can go ahead and create another human life that did not ask to be here. So why does that baby gotta go? Why don't you just go? I mean, I'm just that person. I'm not gonna force a, a grown man to be in my son's or child's life when they know fully how to do it. And if you don't, you learn, period, common sense. So I've been seeing a lot of deaths and it's like this world Wow, is that people are just killing for nonsense. Le you, the same thing with a young lady on Dancing Thaws. Let me get her name. Okay, so two days ago, 19-year-old killed in accidental shooting was former member of Dancing Dolls. Dancing Dolls from Bring It, Bring It On? Oh, Bring It Start, sorry. I used to watch that episode, with, I mean that show, years ago. I'm not gonna lie, I haven't really, I haven't watched it, period. My, my daughter watches um, Dance Moms. But she was sitting, I guess, in the car. I'm not really sure it was accidental. But look at a young life. Before that, her dad was murdered inside his vehicle. Um, her father was um, also murdered. Hold on. Her father, right? Oops. Her father was murdered sitting in his car, 40 years old was murdered okay it's like this is why i just stick to myself i stay home i do what i gotta do i'm not gonna say oh i'm gonna isolate myself no but it's like nowadays you're better off at home all this stuff that's going on and all this killing all this murdering and all this nonsense heinous crimes only goes to show you you better get your <laughs> your affairs in order meaning 
look around this don't seem right it seem right it don't feel right and the fact that threw me over the edge was the two day old baby how how evil are you to throw your seed that God has blessed you with in the river because you didn't want to be a dad that's disgusting and you should get the ultimate punishment even though God already has justice for his you know his baby which God always says when you mess with God's kids when you mess with God's children you can automatically guarantee count that justice has been served may not you may not feel that right here in some cases on you know in human but, but God oh yeah baby oh, it is just like I can't believe all this is why I'm so protective of my children this is why I not because of that particular incident but it's because of overall everything that's going on everything if you look up I mean literally look up the news on YouTube if you like me like I'm a, I love watching news on the YouTube and I'd be like oh my god and I don't understand how these young girls some of these young girls anyways not all, but young girls, women, grown women too. I'm not saying it's just young girls. But y'all can't force a person to be in a child's life if they don't want to be. When Listen to them. When, they, when, when you tell them things, you really got to pay attention. Not because she's handsome or she's beautiful. Really, really listen to them. And it goes to show you what type of person you're dealing with. Granted, some people might change up and switch up on you in the blink of an eye and you were like, oh, I never seen that coming that he didn't or she didn't want the baby. Because it doesn't just go for women. I mean, from yeah, for women. It goes for men as well. You know, take that and run. It may hurt you because you love, so you think you love them, and then now you don't know what the hell happened. Honey, trust in that. Trust in those signs that God is revealing to you. Run. Because... Nowadays, nobody has the morals of, you know, relationship, value, valuing one another, even a child. You know, that's a blessing. There's families out there that can't even have kids. And here you are, blessed to have a beautiful baby, and you're not chilling out about it. Like, whatever, using that baby as a pawn, or trying to get back at the parent because they don't want to be with you, or using that baby as, you know, a tool to lure in the other parent to make them want you or be around. That's not fair to the child because the child is not here for that reason. The child has a purpose here, all right? So don't be selfish, whoever it is, man or woman. That's why I tell these young girls now, don't be rushing until we have no babies. That's what I'm saying. Kids are beautiful. Kids are super, super, super precious. And it's hard. Children are hard work at all ages. All right? Not just as a newborn, but at all ages. But the fact is, it's not a, a, a baby alive. You know, where you get to put the batteries out of it or shut it off and you're done. No, there's real life consequences issues there's real life lessons that come with that child some children are born with birth defects or even disabilities how are you at a certain age that are young gonna deal with that meaning yes you're gonna love your baby but it's hard work and some children or young women or women too because you've got your women out there that are around my age that do act naive just to make another person love them or trap them I find that the most weirdest, weirdest, most childish, despicable act of a human to do is trap an individual with a child. That's not going to make the other individual want you anymore than what that person expressed. The person who suffers, not you, silly, is a baby. Because now that baby is stuck in between two parents fighting, fighting this that but name calling so now you exposing your child to such of an environment of toxic that that's all that child knows and then you wonder why that child grows up bitter or, or, or reckless because that's all they were shown they're sponges you know granted everybody gets into arguments we say stupid stuff and we do stupid things but what you do after that to rectify it to show even if you co-parent What's co-parenting? Co-parenting is real. Like, if you could co-parent, kudos to you. 
You know, because I could co-parent with nothing. If I, let's say Raul was to leave me today, or I was to leave Raul, and we were just not clicking. I can co-parent. He's an awesome father. He's been there for my oldest since day one. And I can co-parent. If I know the, the feelings are not even, even if it wasn't mutual, it's the fact that I'm not going to expose my children to to toxic behavior that that's going to pass on to them and they're going to be thinking it's cute to go in their relationship and later on in life and dealing with it the same way they saw their mom and dad. No, 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 no. You know, I'm not saying Ryan and I are perfect. We had our fair share. I'm a medic, but what are we going to keep doing? You know what I mean? What are we doing? We got to show communication. It doesn't just go for my daughters as an example, my sons as well. You know, because I want my sons to be honest, stand-up men. You know you created life, you take care of your life. I don't care what age you are, take care of your life if you know that's your life. Meaning your child, your seed, your blessing from God. You know, and it just seems like nowadays that's not a thing anymore. It's not even supposed to be a thing. It should be immoral, a standard. You know, relationship and broken homes are so common. Yes, I'm not saying there was none before. But now it's just more like whatever. I don't care. Why is there no structure? When was that okay to say, ah, oh, whatever, you can leave, I can do it on my own. Now, given, depending on the situation where the dude is or the woman come in, I doubt you over and over. And you really see, you know what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking more so, more so, where y'all both know it ain't working. Or if it could work, work it out. Work it out. See, if you can hash things out, talk, communicate, you know, at least give it a fighting chance and to provide that structured family for your children, you know, because remember, they look up to us first. And when they see what well, mom and dad, then they're trying to make it. And all they did was fist fight and did this and da 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 da. You know, now they're not going to respect. You know, they're not going to respect you. They're not going to look at you as a respectable example. Because, Ma, please, you and Puppy or Dad and, and Dad, please, you and Ma, you see what I'm saying? And it seems more and more and more common that that is a thing in this era. All right, I'm not going to say generation because grown people are doing it. They know better. That wasn't even from this generation. We're supposed to teach this generation, eh, eh. You don't sit here and just procreate and procreate and procreate and procreate and like little like like a passport boom I go here I have a baby here no ew no these are not toys these are blessings if you're not gonna be with that woman strap up if you're not gonna be with that man take your birth control that's what I'm saying and it seems like I'm not trying to bash anyone or anything. It's just the fact that if you don't see what's going on around you, I don't know what to tell you. I know I'm disgusted. I'm just like, I tell my kids a lot of things that some parents might be like, oh my God, they're too young. So when is the right time? Because do you see what's going on? You, I'm not telling no one how to parent. But I will say this, as a young mom that I was at 17, if I had this knowledge now, back then, oh, Honey, I don't regret my baby. I would still have my son. But best and believe me, I would have done things way different. You know, but you live and you learn. You know, and it's just like, there's, we're, like, a lot of children now are okay with just mediocre. And it's not children, a lot of, what's that word I'm looking for? A lot of what I'm seeing, like some certain women, certain men, and even now the young Kids are growing up in it, and they're okay with just mediocre. Oh, he's just my baby daddy. Yeah, we sharing baby daddies. What you gonna do about it? He's my man. Yeah, he comes to me on the weekend. Why? I don't want no man coming to me on the weekends. Either you're my man or you gotta go. Or if you're my boo thing, we keep it like that. And I find if you have ex, you know, another uh, curricular activity on the side, I'm good. You could keep that, cause I matter. And if we have a child, my child comes before anyone. And if you think you're going to be playing house with me and then going to the next, bye. I don't have that. What are, we, what are we doing? So I get to wash your drawers, play house, and then you get to leave and stress myself out while you're not stressed out. You live in both worlds because we are allowing that. Once you allow that behavior, forget it. But once you start changing it and they ain't got no choice, 
but to either accept that you're leaving and some don't really accept it because they come obsessive enough because they wanted you around to play the game forever and then that baby at the end of the day gets the brunt of it because pettiness pettiness because somebody's not a stand-up woman or a stand-up guy point blank period you know so I was truly disgusted at the two-day old baby that was, oh my gosh, she was so beautiful. I mean, pra how do you pick up your child and just decide, well, how? Like, I wanted to ask that. How do you do that? You take your child, you lower your child mother into an area. You shoot her in the head. Take the baby out the car seat and throw her in the river. Your baby. Right, you are not, you're not, and that right there would have just, and now you have a grandma who's suffering, you know. So, if you want to see that story, honey, you need to go check up on it if you're not sensitive in a sense where you know I'm simple sensitive, but where it's not gonna trigger anything in you, is what I'm trying to say. So, I don't know, guys, I don't know, there's a lot going on. We need prayer, this world needs prayer, we need Jesus Himself. We need more love, we need more kindness, we need more, we need more stand-up people to say this is not okay in a sense where this is not okay to keep calling everything a generation. Oh, that's the new generation. Well, why don't, why don't we show them? At least if we give them advice and if they take heed, that's their, you know, that will be their prerogative. But as long as I know, I try to share my experience as a young mom um and show them you know ain't nothing in these streets for y'all to be getting pregnant for a boy or a woman to be having a child with a woman that don't really respect you or a boy who don't respect you and cause you all type of no you gotta come i mean like i said everybody says stupid crap when you're mad but if you're telling me that i'm talking to you and talking to you and telling you you gotta learn to value your relationship and yourself First and foremost, yourself and your children, if you have children, you know, and listen and pay attention to everything that goes around you, you know, and if you don't feel like it's working out, say that. Don't be in a toxic home and think it's okay because the kids suffer. Children suffer. Children truly have a lot to say if you talk to them about what's going on. You, if you talk to your children, they seen you fight or whatever with your spouse or significant other, they can tell you how they feel. You know, we shouldn't dismiss that whatsoever. That's the key in our in, in a home too. Open communication. You know, and I'm just, I'm just talking about everything. I'm not just talking about that young precious baby that you know was brutally, honestly, heinously thrown at river. No, I'm talking about everything. You know, morals, respect, self-respect. You know what you give your energy to, and how you, how how you react to certain things says a lot. And, and now nowadays, it just seems like everything's okay to just what is it, Daddy? I'll be toxic. Period. That gotta go. Whoever made that okay got to go. Needs to go like today. That's gross to me like I, that's draining it's not cute it's not respectable and it's like now and oh and then now the way these young ladies and um older women too are partnering up even with their own children to do um showing their bodies twerking on tv and doing this whatever whatever happened to be in just for your significant other to see Cause everybody now got a sugar daddy and it's okay to say oh i got a sugar daddy and what you know yeah that could be your prerogative you know but it's just like i don't know it's just like nothing is held at a higher standard now everybody either wants to be attention clout chasing as the youngins say or um be more popular on the social internet social media as well where you are you are willing to lose your family, your soul, and your integrity just to gain wealth. Just to gain wealth. Which mind you, oh my god, I was reading my devotional. Look at what this says. Alright, this is food for thought. 
actually posted it on my Instagram. If you follow me on Instagram, I'll put it right here. You will have saw it. But I'm going to say it right here. And it says, I'll link it in here. Basically, it's saying in the, in the Bible, I'd rather walk with integrity than to walk. I'd rather walk with integrity than to lose my soul and, and my integrity for the wealth of the world. The popularity. The, and you know, what wealth comes, for certain people, comes ego. And that's another thing. Where if you ain't got the latest, if you ain't got this, you ain't got that, you ain't it. That's not true. I'd rather be the way I am right now, honey, in my apartment, than to sit here and be nasty to a next individual or a family member or a friend because they're not at my level. When everybody has their season. You get what I'm saying? So, I'd rather be, I'm that person where I'd rather walk with integrity than to lose my soul and who I am for wealth and when God could slap you down in 2.2 2 seconds and humble you, humble you quick. You know, and it's like now when everybody's so quick to be on top that they'd rather just lose everything. I mean, when I mean everything, I mean everything just to gain popularity. That's something you don't even get to take with you when you pass on to God or wherever you go. You know what I mean? I just wanted to say that. I wanted to say how it's just evil nowadays. Evil, careless, um, no morals and standards. It's shameful, honestly. It's truly shameful. To each their own, yes. You know, and like I tell my children, I can give you advice. It's up to you to take it. But don't ever say you ain't know about God or you don't know right from wrong or you don't know your repercussions of certain things. And it's like, no, it's okay. I'll go ahead. And then it's like everyone's killing each other for nonsense. Taking people's fathers, daughters, nieces, uncles, aunts, nephews for stupidity. Literally stupidity. And this world needs a serious, serious prayer, a serious, serious healing, because it seems like everyone is hurt, or everyone has a big ego, and everyone is trying to outdo the next, instead of minding your business and doing what you got to do, or stalking someone because God knows whatever reason they may have about a person they don't even know. Because they irritate you by the way they look, or your ex, or your this, or that. Look how bitter this world has become. I mean, don't get me wrong, there's things that happened when we were growing up, but it wasn't like this. Where even my kids are disgusting. They're young. Young girls that are, I don't know, but anyway, I don't want to keep sounding like a little Debbie Downer. But I just wanted to say, you know, that that really hit home because I am, I'm, I'm such a mommy that I'm like, I was so angry when I seen that, like, you freaking pig, put it nicely, boom, it's okay, it's not okay, Oopsies. it's not okay, I thought I was saying, I thought I spilled water, so, what was I saying, Oopie. Oh, yeah, I don't want to sound like a baby downer, but it's just like, I had to say it, where, be careful, it's like really, 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 Toxic out there. Really, 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 really non-human. Like it's just so unreal. I would have never thought at 35 I would see this foolishness, where everything is glorified. If you have, I don't know. Anyway, let me shut up. Let me shut up. So my heart does go out to that my grandmother. She poured her heart out. She don't even have her kid. Or her grandbaby that was on this earth for two whole days. Don't know what the heck is going on in, in this world. And she has been only here for two whole days. And at the hands of her own dad, she wasn't even protected by him. She was dealt evil by him. That don't sit right with me. As parents, our children look up to us as protection. As the safe zone. A safety net and to take your child and commit harm you are a different type of species you're a different type of evil 
And God has a special place for people like that. So even when we feel like justice, oh, it's not being served, why they're not doing this? God said vengeance is mine and it will be served and it has been served. But it's just like, why are we living like this? Some anyways, but all we can do is pray and just hope for the best. And also be aware of everything that's going on. And teach your children, talk to your children. Even your young adult children, like my 18 year old, or my 12 year old, or my not 10 year old, she's not nine, 10, and then I have a nine, one, no, he is nine. Ten. Jesus, I didn't even know my kid's a nine year old. So, you know, and, you know, I don't, I would never want to experience that. I want my children to bury me first. All right. I saw my video really ended ended but anyways all right guys so yeah i don't want to be buried before my children lord forbid god oh god no hell no um i, I wouldn't be able to handle that i'm telling you right now i wouldn't and i'm i wouldn't so i want to be cremated because i hate bugs the thought of me being in the ground with bugs yeah it's disgusting to me for me i hate bugs so you know i just pray over you know pray over your children ask them about their life and also make sure you're good even if you don't have any children you know remember your self-worth remember if you do become pregnant from someone and they don't want to be involved in your child's life you know maybe that's the best thing because you never know what that person is capable of and as rude and harsh as it may sound sometimes it's the reality of it my child could be better off without you and we don't need you period it could be tough it could be rough and it will be and especially if you're a young mommy but you got this god got your back and everything you know happens for a reason far as sometimes we're better off without the other absent parent because god knows that drama you don't need for you or your child so i'm not going to try to drag this video out plus i gotta go do my workout so again you know be mindful pay attention and you know really listen to the individual in a sense where if they're telling you nah i don't want to be around nah i'm not ready to be a mom don't try to force it upon them and if they don't want to be involved so be it that's their loss and you and your child will be all right you it may be hard in the beginning but you'll be all right and you know your support team you know gratefully i had a great support team and i didn't how you say it i didn't want for nothing for him so it is what it is guys and say a prayer for this world because we all need it all right all right guys i'm gonna go and work out and i don't know if it's too close is it no 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 oh that's good all right so i want to go work out i'm in my daughter's room on that note, thank you for watching my video, and what else? Thank you. Subscribe and like. Thank you for watching my video, and if you do want to subscribe or consider, please do so. Shh, please do so. And if you enjoyed this video or thought, you know what, she got some good pointers there, you know, go ahead and give this a thumbs up. You never know who this can help. Share it. Do whatever you got to do because this world needs a lot of help. And if we all are bitter, what are we doing? Literally. If we all play in the hands of the devil, which is literally the devil, you know, and of course people's actions. But what do we do? Somebody got to be the shepherd, you know. So let's not fight evil for evil, you know, and just try to educate, try to empower try to inspire try to you know help out and anywhere we could any form we could if we can you know so again my heart goes out to that young woman and her family they lost their uh, what is it their granddaughter and the mom lost their her daughter you know so that's sickening and also to the young lady who also passed away accidentally um in the shooting and dancing dolls so yeah that's why you always gotta pray for those you always gotta 
be kind because you never know what the next person is going through you don't know what's going on and it's, if you think i got time to be bitter and blah 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 i don't got that time to look around you you think I got time to fight and bicker with people? You say what you want about me. Do what you want. I'm healthy. My kids are healthy. I'm blessed. And I may not be where your level of standard that you think I need to be. But I'm where God want me to be for right now. So leave me be. I don't have to engage in such stupidity when there's a whole mess going around. When this... You get my drift. You get it? So... Um, Alright guys, I'll see you in the next video. Until then, stay safe, stay blessed, pray it up, and bye.